What's up, gentlemen? So a few months ago, I did a video talking about 10 things that every guy must have by the age of 30. 10 things we talked about in that video are a goal, self-respect, a failure, a personal value proposition, friends that have your back, the ability to be honest with yourself, a sense of style, knowing what makes you happy, a workout plan, and dignity. If you want to watch that video, guys, which I highly recommend, I'll link to it down below. None of those 10 things were material in terms of possession, but today's list is. Today we're talking about 10 items, things, material possessions that each and every one of you should have by the age of 30. Number one is a grown-up wallet. One of the things that cracks me up is when I'll see like a 30, 40 year old dude and he pulls out his wallet and it's either like jam-packed with all sorts of crap or it still has like Velcro. I'm like, oh, isn't that cute? When I was growing up, man, Velcro wallets were awesome and I rocked the hell out of them. But once you start getting a little bit older, gentlemen, it's time to upgrade. A slim wallet in my opinion is the way to go. The second item every guy should have by the age of 30 is his passport. One of the things I regret so bad is not starting to travel when I was younger. I didn't get my passport until I was 34 years old and the reason I got it was because I was getting married and I wanted to go to Jamaica. So I went, I applied, I got my passport. When I got this bad boy in the mail, it was like my world opened up. I went to Jamaica, we had an incredible time and it really expanded my mind because I'm like, my God, if this is here, what else is out there? Gentlemen, get this so you can go where you want. The third item every guy needs by the age of 30 is a pocket knife. Gentlemen, pocket knives are amazing. You never realize how much you're actually going to use it until you actually get one. Ow. I impaled myself for this video. Good thing I always wear black. Gentlemen, here's the deal. Even though I am not responsible in handling a pocket knife, I personally feel like every single one of you should have one. This is my first pocket knife that was passed down to me from my grandfather, Frank Cassoni, who's one of my heroes. And it was so special to me. I carried it for a very long time, but then I was sort of paranoid that I was gonna lose it. And so I upgraded to this, but literally for years I carried this and you never realize how much you're actually going to use a pocket knife until you start carrying one. The fourth thing that every single guy needs by the age of 30 is a well-tailored Navy suit. In my opinion, at 30, this is the time where it's safe to invest in a suit because you're probably not growing that much more. And at 30, all your friends are gonna start getting married. And so in order to make sure that you always look like the best dressed guy in every room, you got to make sure you invest in a solid suit. In my opinion, suit supply, best bang for your 30 year old buck. Fifth item every guy needs by the age of 30 is a proper dop kit or toiletry bag. Gentlemen, remember you're traveling your ass off or you're going over to spicy ass and your Rita's houses. You're going to be like one second sweetness. You grab your bag. It's pre-packed and you look like the man. Now I'm going to show you what's in my all right, gentlemen, so now let me actually show you what's in my personal DOP kit. I've got three different compartments. On the side small compartment, this is where I keep things like my One Wipe Charlies. All right, I never leave home without these individually wrapped uh, One Wipe Charlies from Dollar Shave Club. These things are amazing, and when you're spending the night somewhere else, these definitely come in handy. I also have my toothpaste and my toothbrush. And then in this side, we have Travel Q-tips, always important. I've got an extra face wash. I've got an AM moisturizer. I've got hair product. And I've also got dental floss. And travel sea salt spray. In this other compartment, I have deodorant. This stuff, amazing. If you guys are looking for a great deodorant, that stuff by Dollar Shave Club, incredible. Also, a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner from Dollar Shave Club as well. Also have shave butter, of course. Guys, I never leave home without this stuff because it is the best in terms of manscaping along with my face. And then I also, of course, have a Dollar Shave Club razor. And then, of course, I've got some backup blades. All right, yeah, exactly. And then, oh, there it is. <laughs> I was wondering where my PM moisturizer was. That should go on the other side. I also keep a pair of tweezers with me along with a pair of nail clippers. And that's it. Everything that I keep in my DOP kit, and as you can see, everything pretty much is T. Shanley, Pete, and Pedro, or today's video sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. Dollar Shave Club. Gentlemen, if 
you are not using Dollar Shave Club by now, I assume you're a little slow, or you just love spending a lot of money on razors unnecessarily. Gentlemen, here's the deal. Dollar Shave Club has a lot more, as you can see, than just razors. They've got everything that the modern man needs in order to look smooth, sexy, stylish, and well-groomed. Right now, if you want to get started, they've got an incredible deal. They're giving you the shave starter set, which comes with an executive handle, this thing also the best. It's going to come with a four-pack of blades. You're also going to get a three-ounce tube of Dr. Carver Shave Bar. Now this stuff is the best. The reason why it's the best and the only stuff I use is because it's translucent. You can see what you're doing. It also helps prevent irritation and ingrown hairs. Little Alpha M Pro shaving tip. Leave this stuff on your face for about 30 seconds to a minute before actually shaving if you want the most comfortable, amazing shave of your life. Guys, hit that link down below, dollarshaveclub.com slash alpha to grab your shave starter set for $5 including free shipping after which restock box Boxes are going to ship directly to your door at regular price. The sixth thing each and every one of you needs by the age of 30 is a watch. Gentlemen, I don't care if that watch cost you $10. The fact is, in my opinion, every single one of you should be wearing a watch because as you get older, you need to make sure that people are taking you seriously. When I was growing up, I always looked younger than I was because I was short, because I have a baby face, and now thanks to Tiege Hanley, it still <laughs> looks like I'm 22. But besides that, I always was insecure because I was worried that people weren't taking me seriously. One thing that I started doing, guys, was wearing a watch. A watch sends the subliminal message that you are responsible, that you're older, that you're reliable, and that you know what time it is. Number seven is a grown-up winter jacket. Gentlemen, one of the things that drives me crazy is that when I see a young dude, even in his late 20s, and he's rocking this, like, young jacket, the classic navy pea coat, in my opinion, is the most perfect winter jacket ever out there because it's warm, it's stylish, it coordinates and matches with pretty much anything. Now, you could go black, you could also do like a camel, but in my opinion, once again, I think navy is perfect for you. Number eight is reliable transportation, but here's the deal. I'm not talking about you having an incredible car. I'm not even talking about you having a car if that's not what you need. Gentlemen, here's the deal. If you live in a city, you have mass transit, but if you're somebody who at the age of 30 doesn't have the ability to get somewhere like your job, Job without asking your mom to give you a ride, gentlemen, then I'm saying you probably need to start rethinking a few things. Hey, Brenda, it's Brian. What's going on? So I was wondering, do you want to go out on Saturday night? Yeah, great. Can you drive? The ninth thing that every guy needs by the age of 30 is a decent pair of dress shoes. There's no excuse for you being like, yo, what shoes should I wear? And wearing like sneakers or something that's not appropriate. One of the things that drives me crazy is when I see a guy and I know that he's trying to dress up, right? He's got his slacks on. He's He's got his button-up shirt. He might even have a tie. Rocking boat shoes, which are a lot of things. Stylish and appropriate for dress-up is definitely not one of them. Gentlemen, every single dude should be investing in a pair of nice dress shoes by the age of 30. And last but certainly not least, the tenth item that I feel every single one of you needs by the age of 30 is a decent pair of denim that doesn't hang off your ass.